I'm Vince Graves, Technical Advisor at Sega Manufacturing. To reach any of our customer care support staff, call us at 815-297-9500 or email us at customercare at sega.com. When replacing the control board of your machine, the first and most important step is to unplug your machine. Anytime that the machine is plugged in and you have to deal with any of these wire harnesses, it's very possible that you can short out the port on that individual harness and ruin your board. So make sure that you're unplugged. To remove the board, there's four nuts. Three will usually be plastic and one will be metal for grounding purposes. They're normally seven millimeter. The plastic ones can be used with a seven millimeter nut driver. They're really just hand tightened on. So we'll pull those. We usually recommend that you take a picture of the harness layout on your board. It will be all labeled in your owner's manual. But then you can start to remove your harnesses. They all unclip. We'll unclip a few here. We'll unplug some harnesses, the power. Unplug your harnesses, then you can remove your board. Put your new one on with your replacement nuts. Adhere it back to the board, and then you can go back through Hook your harnesses all back up. Consult your picture and consult your manual. And then you'll be able to power back up. All of these harness connectors are different and they will only go back in in the place that you pulled them from. But it's good to have a picture so you have a reference guide to look at. But once all of your wire connectors and harnesses are clipped back on securely, you can power up and go back through the programming of your machine.